Do you know that cruise ships are actually quite heavy CO2 emitters, but is there a way to control it? And despite the grand promises of big government, what whispers of dark intentions are there? Cruise ship traffic is a substantial source of pollution globally, and it is of particular concern in regions with heavy cruise ship traffic where few other pollution sources exist, such as high-latitude regions. Welcome back to Ships Insights. Today, we're uncovering a startling truth about the environmental impact of cruise ships that will leave you amazed and both concerned. You might be dreaming of your next cruise vacation, but did you know that analysis reveals something shocking? Cruises actually emit eight times more carbon dioxide per day than your average land-based vacationer. That's right, my friends. According to research, 796 million tons of CO2 were emitted by international shipping in 2012, which is more than the entire UK, Canada, and Brazil emit in a single year. This amount can also be expressed as 2.18 million tons of CO2 per day, or 90,868 tons of CO2 every hour. These carbon dioxide, CO2, emissions contribute to climate change, leading to global warming and associated impacts. Increased levels of CO2 from cruise ship emissions result in rising temperatures, melting ice caps, rising sea levels, altered weather patterns, and more frequent and severe extreme weather events. Buckle up as we dive into the eye-opening analysis, but before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with more mind-blowing content. Facts about the cruise ship pollution. We all fantasize about a luxurious cruise ship vacation, don't we? But as exciting as it is, there is something that is a major issue for the world. Picture this, a magnificent cruise ship gliding through crystal clear waters, offering a luxurious escape from the monotony of daily life. It seems like a dream come true. According to the findings, an individual aboard a typical cruise ship emits an astonishing 421.43 kilograms of CO2 per day. In stark contrast, a high-end hotel guest engaging in carbon-heavy transportation and activities releases a mere 81.33 kilograms of CO2 per day. Even the average land-based vacationer, with a carbon footprint of around 51.88 kilograms, emits less than one-eighth of what a cruise-goer does. In fact, during the six-month cruise season in 2019, ships sailing from Seattle to Alaska emitted a mind-boggling 1,120,324 metric tons of CO2. That's equivalent to over 1.1 million tons of gas, with 13 cruise ships and a total of 559,414 passengers, the environmental toll is undeniable. Marcy Kiever, Oceans and Vessels Program Director with Friends of the Earth, emphasizes the urgent need for change. She reveals that while cruise companies may tout their efforts to cut plastic pollution and reduce energy consumption on board, they conveniently ignore the most significant factor contributing to carbon emissions the massive volume and low quality of fuel used by these ships. But hey guys, you don't have to ignore the like and subscribe button right in front of you. The true extent of CO2 emissions from cruise ships is staggering. According to recent studies, a single cruise ship can emit as much CO2 in a day as several thousand cars. CO2 emission is just one factor. The truth is that a cruise ship pollutes the climate in many ways. This pollution can have detrimental effects on human health. Air pollution from cruise ships caused by emissions of sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, particulate matter, and volatile organic compounds can lead to respiratory issues, worsen asthma symptoms, and increase the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Water pollution resulting from the discharge of sewage, gray water, and bilge water can contaminate marine ecosystems and pose health risks through exposure to harmful bacteria and chemicals. Moreover, in the port city of Marseille in France, the shipping industry is directly responsible for 10% of the air pollution. Locals complain that increasingly luxurious cruise ships landing in the port have led to an increase in pollution and health problems. As a result, environmental organizations and the regional government are conducting emissions tests and fining cruise companies. Efforts regarding the pressing matter. As we face the astonishing revelations, we must question the very essence of cruising as a responsible way to explore the world. Climate change and air pollution emerge as paramount concerns in the wake of this chilling reality. The prolonged journeys undertaken by cruise ships, coupled with their colossal carbon emissions, pose a serious threat to our planet's delicate balance. Fortunately, an increasing number of cruise lines have recognized the pressing need for sustainable practices and have embarked on transformative initiatives. 
from adopting cleaner fuels and advanced exhaust gas cleaning systems to investing in energy-efficient technologies and promoting shore-based power supply, these initiatives aim to reduce the environmental impact of cruise ships. However, challenges remain, including the retrofitting of existing vessels and the coordination of international regulations to ensure consistent progress across the industry. In the spotlight stands the Cruise Lines International Association, CLIA, the trade group representing an astonishing 95% of global cruise trips. Carnival Cruise Line, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian Cruise Line, and MSC Cruises, renowned names that champion climate awareness and emission reduction, find themselves entangled in this electrifying drama. Despite their grand promises, whispers of dark intentions emerge, as experts accuse the CLIA of a surreptitious plot to water down environmental regulations proposed by the International Maritime Organization IMO. Now viewers prepare for a roller coaster of revelations. Recently, the IMO rejected a cunning maneuver by the cruise industry that could have improved their carbon pollution scores. However, environmental groups argue that this covert plan would have paved the way for more air pollution, allowing cruise liners to continue their operations without consequence. Will the cruise industry's clandestine efforts to maintain business as usual be exposed? Amidst the chaos, Questions loom over the integrity of the CLIA's climate commitments. Although Carnival Cruise Line proudly declares its sustainability from ship to shore, a shocking filing in April exposes the association's lobbying tactics to weaken the proposed regulations. Could this spell doom for their lofty goal of reducing carbon emissions by 40% before 2030? Shipping accounts for a shocking 2.9% of global carbon dioxide emissions, with cruise liners found to be the worst offenders. Their lavish amenities, including air conditioning, heated pools, and more, contribute to their alarming carbon footprint. Will the curtain be lifted on the true extent of their environmental impact? How can you minimize your impact on cruise ship pollution? What kind of vacation would you prefer? A luxurious cruise vacation or a land-based vacation? Comment down your preferences. As much as we are sea enthusiasts, it's not hard to guess that many of us would love to spend a vacation on a luxurious cruise ship. After all, it's hard to resist its charm, isn't it? But what about the environmental effect they have? Well, friends, if we think about it practically, millions of people travel by cruise and we cannot stop that. However, what we can do is play our role as responsible people and minimize the effect we have on the environmental pollution caused by cruise ships. Here are a few tips for your next cruise trip. Choose a more eco-friendly cruise line. Research different cruise lines and select one that demonstrates a commitment to sustainability and environmental responsibility. Look for companies that invest in cleaner technologies, use alternative fuels, and have a strong waste management program. Opt for shore power. When docked at ports, some cruise ships have the option to connect to shore power, which uses electricity from the local grid instead of running their engines. This reduces emissions while in port. Reduce water usage. Water is a precious resource, especially on ships. Being mindful of water consumption helps decrease the energy required for desalination and the amount of wastewater generated. Avoid single-use plastics. Cruise ships are notorious for generating significant amounts of plastic waste. Refrain from using single-use plastic items such as straws, water bottles, and disposable cutlery. Bring your reusable water bottle and other eco-friendly essentials. Mindful energy consumption. Be conscious of your energy use in your cabin. Turn off lights, televisions, and other electronic devices when not in use. Choose sustainable shore excursions. When planning your onshore activities, opt for eco-friendly tours that support local communities and have minimal impact on the environment. Avoid excursions that involve activities that harm wildlife or delicate ecosystems. Minimize food waste. Cruise ships offer an abundance of food options leading to potential waste. Take only what you can eat and try different dishes in smaller portions. If you can, inquire about the cruise line's food donation programs for excess food. By implementing these practices, you can minimize your impact on cruise ship pollution and contribute to a more sustainable and responsible approach to travel. Remember that even small actions can make a significant difference when adopted collectively by passengers and cruise lines alike. Conclusion. As we peer into the imminent future, a groundbreaking development emerges. Starting in 2023, large ships will be assigned a Carbon Intensity Indicator CII. The outcome will determine the legacy we leave for future generations. That's it guys, thanks for watching the video. What are your thoughts regarding this matter? Let us know in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, because we will be back soon with more thrilling videos. Until then, don't miss the boat fellas!